I'm angry. I can't believe it's happening again. They just won't stop. They want this man out. There is another sexual abuse allegation coming to light against Father Michael Flager. The longtime St. Sabina pastor and community activist has stepped away from ministry for the time being. Judy is now here with the latest on the investigation against Father Flager. Judy. Good morning. Parishioners are preparing for Sunday service without Father Michael Flager. Flager, who has not commented publicly, uh, publicly rather, on this latest allegation, did write a letter to parishioners, which is posted on the St. Sabina website. He says, let me be clear, I am completely innocent. Cardinal Blaise Supich made the announcement Saturday. He says Father Flager is cooperating fully as an archdiocese review board looks into the claim. A man who is now in his late 40s claims Flager abused him twice in the 1980s in the church rectory during choir practices. The accuser was a member of the Soul Children of Chicago Choir. This is the second time the Archdiocese has removed the 73-year-old priest from ministry following decades-old sex abuse claims. In January of 2021, two brothers filed a claim accusing Flager of abusing them during the 1970s. Flager was reinstated after a five-month-long investigation. The review, uh, review board determined that there was insufficient evidence against Flager. Flager has been at St. Sabina since 1981. He has been a strong advocate for stricter gun laws and has often clashed with politicians politicians and cardinals. Many church members are standing by him. This is family. We are family oriented. We love this man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, man, it's, 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 it's hard for us. Mm -hmm. It's like losing a loved one right now. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? We fighting. We fighting to gain the loved one back. This from Father Flager, while I am confident the new allegations will also be determined to be unfounded, this process is so unfair and painful to me and the community I serve. Now, the attorney representing this latest accuser is the same attorney who represented the two brothers. He has not spoken publicly about this claim. In Auburn, Gresham, Judy Wang, WGN News.